Welcome back, tech enthusiasts! If you're hunting for the best PCIe Wi-Fi cards, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the top 7 options ranked from weakest to the absolute best. Whether you're upgrading for blazing fast internet or smoother gaming, stay tuned as we break down the pros and cons of each card to help you pick the perfect one. Let's get started! Let's kick off the list with the TP-Link Archer 400E, ranked at number 7. While it offers cutting-edge Wi-Fi 7 technology, it falls short compared to its competition. Now, don't get me wrong, this card still packs a punch. It supports tri-band connectivity, Bluetooth 5.4, and advanced WPA3 security to keep your network safe. Its high-gain antennas ensure decent coverage, and the inclusion of Bluetooth is a nice touch for pairing peripherals like controllers or headphones. However, when you compare it to the other cards on this list, its 6 GHz speeds max out at 2.88 GB per second, which is significantly lower than many of its peers. Plus, it's only compatible with Windows 11, which might limit some users. So who's this card for? If you're just starting to explore Wi-Fi 7 and don't need top-tier speeds, the Archer 400E is an affordable way to upgrade. Let's see what comes next. At number 6, we have the Gigabyte, a solid contender with reliable performance but fewer standout features. This card delivers up to 5.8 gigabytes per second on the 6 GHz band, which is impressive for most users. It also supports multi-link operation, letting you connect on two bands simultaneously for better performance. Bluetooth 5.3 is a welcome addition, though it's slightly behind the 5.4 standard that's starting to dominate. Unfortunately, the Gigabyte doesn't include extras like a magnetic antenna base, which would have added flexibility for optimal placement. It's also restricted to Windows 11, so if you're running an older OS, you'll need to upgrade. This one's for those who want dependable speeds for streaming or gaming without splurging on premium features. But trust me, there's better to come. Moving on to number 5, the Cuddy 9300. It's a performance-focused card with some restrictions that hold it back from climbing higher on this list. This card shines in speed, offering 5.76 gigabytes per second on the 6 GHz band, and multi-link operation for seamless dual-band usage. It also includes Bluetooth 5.4, making it easy to connect modern devices. But here's the catch. It's only compatible with Intel-based systems running Windows 11. Plus, it lacks a magnetic antenna base, which means setup might be less flexible if your PC case is in a tight spot. If you've got an Intel system and need high-speed Wi-Fi without breaking the bank, the Cuddy is worth considering. That said, the next card in the lineup improves on these shortcomings. At number 4 is the MSI Herald, a car that strikes a solid balance between performance and value. With Wi-Fi 7 speeds up to 5.8 gigabytes per second, Bluetooth 5.4, and a wide 320 MHz channel, this card delivers great wireless performance for gaming, streaming, and general browsing. It's straightforward to install and doesn't overcomplicate things with unnecessary features. The downsides? It's limited to Windows 11 and lacks extras like magnetic base or advanced antenna designs. While it's a strong performer, it doesn't quite stand out against higher ranked competitors. If you're looking for a reliable no-frills Wi-Fi 7 card, the MSI might just hit the sweet spot for you. But if you want a bit more flexibility, keep watching. Coming in at number 3 is the Cuddy 9300S, a step up from its sibling the 9300 with improved antenna design and added versatility. The performance is excellent, with 5.76 gigabytes per second on the 6 GHz band, multi-link operation for smooth multitasking, and Bluetooth 5.4 for all your wireless accessories. What sets this card apart is its magnetic base antennas, which allow you to position them for the best possible signal. That's a game changer, especially for crowded setups. The downsides? Like the 9300, it's limited to Intel-based systems running Windows 11. Plus, you'll need a USB header connection for Bluetooth, which could be an issue in compact builds. If you're an Intel user looking for performance and flexibility, the 9300S is an excellent choice. But hold on, there's still more power-packed performance ahead. At number 2, we've got the Asus 92BT, a premium Wi-Fi card that offers stellar performance and thoughtful design. With 5.76 GB speeds on the 6 GHz band, it matches the Cuddy 93S in raw power. It also features WPA3 security, which is a big plus for those concerned about network safety. The magnetic antenna base allows for excellent signal optimization, while Bluetooth 5.4 ensures seamless connections with the latest devices. The only real drawback? It's limited to Intel motherboards running Windows 11, so AMD users or those on older systems are out of luck. For gamers and power users with an Intel system, this card is nearly flawless. But the number one spot is reserved for something truly exceptional. 
Taking the crown as the best PCIe Wi-Fi card is the TP-Link Archer 550e. This card delivers on every front, making it the ultimate choice for demanding users. With ultra-fast speeds of 5.76GB per second on the 6GHz band, Bluetooth 5.4, and support for WPA3 security, it's a powerhouse for gamers, streamers, and anyone looking to future-proof their setup. The magnetic base antennas are not just practical, but ensure optimal signal quality even in less-than-ideal setups. The only downside is its Windows 11-only compatibility, which might limit some users. But if you've already made the jump to the latest OS, this card is practically perfect. This is the card for those who want top-tier performance without compromise. Whether you're into online gaming, high-res streaming, or heavy multitasking, the Archer 550e has you covered. And that's our lineup of the best PCIe Wi-Fi cards. From budget-friendly starters to high-performance beasts, there's something here for everyone. So which card are you leaning towards? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check the descriptions for links to each product, and while you're at it, hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one!